Alright, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Mighty Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. I've got some more plays today out of the Broncos. I'm doing a two for one special because the Broncos are one of the few playbooks that have uh, basically two of what looks like the exact same formation in it out of two different formations. They Not a lot of playbooks have the pistol, let alone the pistol bunch, uh, but they do and it looks a lot like the single back bunch which is one of my more favorite formations. Uh, the gun bunch is probably in here too, but that looks really different if I can find it. Yeah, the gun bunch, you just see the difference is he's all the way back and he has a running back next to him rather than behind him. So the reason that this setup works is because you never your opponent's never going to be to tell uh, the difference there's not a lot of uh, you know there's nothing really giving away um, that these are different formations so you can kind of mix these in together which is really nice like I said the Broncos are one of the few playbooks that have that so basically what I've been doing is a two-part series I'll have more this is the second of the two-part series I'll pop a little I'll pop a link and I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can find part one if you want to see that uh, but basically this is a uh, the second part of a um, a series of plays for uh, for the for the Broncos and uh, I'll have more on my Patreon. Whatever's not in this video uh, will be on my Patreon, which is a good amount of plays. Um, so like I said, I'll continue with this series. I think I just saw one of my favorite run plays uh, in this. Yeah, the quick pitch. This is a really hard to stop run play. You have an option to put um, some tight ends and stuff like that, or running backs rather, um, in this receiving spot which is really up to you if you want to do that. If you have a really high run blocking player of any kind, I don't know, you know, tight end, whatever, depending on how cheesy you want to be. But if you have a good run blocker, and I'm not sure if any of these guys are, you're going to want to put them on this edge here because I'm going to be motioning that guy out to get uh, to get an advantage. So let's just go with this guy. I have no idea uh, if he's a good blocker or not, but let's just go with him anyway. So all you really want to do here, I mean, you can run this play just like this, but you don't have outside containment, really. It's kind of a weird setup. If it's a man coverage run just like this, but you typically want to have, if you're running outside, you typically want to have the outside shoulder of this um, of this defender, which is your cornerback, which most zone coverages don't work that way in a tight formation. So like I said, you can run it like this. You get decent blocking. A lot of times it'll force you up inside like it did there because I couldn't get wide. But what I like to do here is a motion hike. I actually like to motion them out and then hike it right away. Um, there are plays where that motion is going to be, uh, where motioning him out and keeping him out is going to be relevant. This is obviously going to play off of that. Yeah, there are a lot of plays uh, where you motion this guy out and keep him out. I like the motion hike. As you can see, it just gives him a little bit of speed to beat that defender to the edge. But yeah, sometimes when you motion out this uh, this guy here, the uh, defender will, will get a chance to react in your opponent, rather. Uh, your your, uh, your user opponent can, can see that. So motion hiking and hiking him out real quick, uh, a lot of times is going to catch him off guard. I get a nice one-on-one -on -one there uh, because somebody's not really getting the job done from behind. Somebody's missing their blocks. I think it's my, my guard. He's probably not very fast. You typically need speed at your pulling guards. I don't really Yeah, 75 there. Just doesn't feel like he's getting the speed. You look, he doesn't look like he has the speed to do this scheme, but it's whatever. I bet if I flipped it, hopefully my other guard is a little bit faster. We'll see. You really need speed at your guard spots to do these type of plays. So let's see if we can get it. Oh uh, yeah, 72. They did a much better job. Not the best run, but he still got out there. That's their number one pick, Bowles. Clinton Bowles so we'll go ahead and we'll flip the play a couple times just to see if we can get a little bit of a speed advantage there like 72 he's definitely getting out there the run overall is not doing uh, the best to the other side but he's still doing a good job but yeah there's two types of guards in, in the game and you just have to make sure you're uh, you're using the right type you need a mobile athletic uh, guard whenever you're running a pulling or a trapping system um, and that'll give you better results uh, where this here is you know, I actually switched the guards out now, just so I can get a little bit of a better, a little bit of a better lead blocker there. And you can see here, he got out in front a lot better, turns the play inside like he should. It's actually a former Eagle, Alan Barbre, is one of the faster guys. But yeah, typically, like I said, look at him, 75. He's getting out there. Um, he's doing a better job, as you can see. He actually sealed the back end a little bit and uh, helped me get free. So there's really a couple different adjustments you can make to make this play better. I mean, I didn't really mention having a speed back is a good thing uh, whenever you're running outside. Also, make sure the guard that's pulling uh, in the diagram here, actually it's a tackle, uh, but make sure that he's, I've been calling it the guard the whole time, but he's he's gotta be mobile and you can always put a, uh, a tight end, a good blocker on the outside. Another really good run play is the counter Y. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Um, I find this play is best served with a motion. Let's go ahead and let's pick this again. I find it's best to uh, motion over, um, you know, if you can motion over this guy here, you'll have an additional blocker 
uh, on the other side. Um, him and uh, Green, I mean, sometimes I find it's best to motion Green over because he has a long way to travel, and I want to maintain that edge. Um, so sometimes he's the best way to go, um, and it'll just basically shorten up his travel distance, but um, it's really up to you. I think that I would like the additional blocker, especially if I do it like a motion hike where he'll come back, and we'll go ahead and we'll do it like that. He'll kind of come back and set that edge there. We'll hold, hold right, right the gut, but I didn't get it. But we'll go ahead and we'll run a couple times like that. Um, sometimes I mean, I'm trying to get the edge and you can see how motion this guy over sometimes he'll set the edge like he did there and help me get outside and sometimes he'll get downfield and try to get the safety but motion hiking is a really big advantage this year there you can see how the uh, the guy actually dropped back to uh, to respect that there was a receiver on his side sometimes you'll get that effect if it's a zone and that linebacker on that sides in the zone um, he'll actually uh, drop back and there we can see, oh man, you didn't get that block, man. 75, oh no, that would have been, man, 75, you gotta seal that, bro. But yeah, I mean, I'm really aiming for that defensive end. And like I said, if he if he seals it, if that guy's his way, you're like right there, he actually just passed him on. Uh, still a pretty decent run, um, but I'd rather him get that. I wish I could like target him to that defensive end and seal that edge, but it's not something that's in the game. Um, here, you know, there, there, all the blocking gets set up, and then my dude, oh man, somebody, this team can't block for nothing. Yeah, these Broncos aren't really known for their offensive line, uh, but you can see how, if you have some competency, how this can be a really effective play. And just there, that extra blocker is just, that was huge because it held up 27 from getting me there. Um, this is a really effective, a much more effective way to run this. Than the, than the typical counter. Like here, I'm just going to get wide. There we go. 82, man. He's just getting shucked off. Like, what kind of blocking is that? Yeah, man. I was running right at 82 because I could see that um, he was, like, going right to his block where he should. Uh, but then he just he just doesn't hold his block very good. So it must have, like, a low impact block or something. But it's whatever. I mean, uh, you can see how this setup works. You just need, you know, a little bit more ability from these guys. And I was hugging the line too close there. That was my fault. Yeah, I'm just getting to the point now where, you know, these, these Broncos are just not very good at blocking. Um, as here, I can get wide. 85, man, he's tripped me in the past. Luckily, he didn't dare. Uh, but Jamal Charles is still doing his thing. But yeah, if you have a half-decent uh, blocking setup, I mean, the, the Raiders front seven is actually pretty good uh, with, uh, with their linebackers and whatnot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they were setting the house there and it still worked out. It's going to be a much more effective against zone because you're motioning a defender over here against man. Um, but uh, it's still a good play. So here we get a little bit of a wall of blocking. And it looks like we're going to have our first touchdown as long as 88 doesn't trip me. And uh, there we go. We're going to move on. Now, yeah, some really good plays um, that really are activated uh, by the motion. Um, I could say that if you wanted to run just a straight dive or something like that out of the pistol bunch. The pistol bunch has a counter run play too. Uh, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. So I'm not going to show it. Uh, let me see if the diagram is a little bit different. Um, yeah, like I said, you got the same. Actually, it looks like you had two pulling guys there. Where I'm not sure if you have the same two pulling guys here. Yeah, you do. It's the same. So you can run that out of either set. It's really up to you. But I would also say if you're going to run something like a dive or a slam uh, to do that same motion just to kind of catch your opponent off guard. Um, and you can still have. Plus, it kind of balances the formation. So if I run it like this. You have some blocking on your back end. Not the best first run. It, it is what it is. I'm not going to run this too many times. But um, if you if you even out your set, a lot of times this defender uh, can come off of the edge um, and really you know catch you from behind before you even get to the line of scrimmage in a dive. Uh, where this motion, as you see here, because it's a zone, it actually moves them off the line. It'll make it harder for them to react. Um, and even if it's not a zone, even if you motion hike it uh, like the previous play, you'll see how um, he'll get that block. Um, you know, like I said they're still not blocking very good, but it's going to be helpful even in dives and stuff like that too. Now, another scenario where you can use that motion to trick your opponent is the halfback slip screen. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that, and we'll go random nickel. This is a play here where I don't really think um, that too many of these options uh, are. You're not going to be able to throw too much to these 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 this bunch of receivers um, in this scenario because typically the the, the way that this is set up, you're going to be on your ass before they really get open unless the circle route and if, if there's nothing underneath a lot of times you can throw to the circle route really quick uh, which i did there it gets a couple of yards 
But if, it, if you think it's like a cover two or like a hard flat or something, this circle route's not always going to be the man. But you can see he is consistent. You can lead outside, throw to him quick. And that's one good way to run the play. Another good way to run the play is uh, motioning over and doing the exact same thing. Make him think the play's going over there so that the user goes over there and then you can hit him to the other side with the screen. I didn't really follow my blockers too good, but you get the idea. Um, but this is a vertical, you know, you're, you're, what you're looking at here is a vertical uh, concept, uh, which is a play I'll actually go over here in a minute. But uh, that's really, um, you know, uh, the vertical play is typically run kind of like this, where I'll do this and then I'll put him on a slant. And I'll go over that in a minute. Um, but this is the same look. So if you run that vertical play, which I'll, I'll show you, like I said, in a minute, um, this could be very confusing for your opponent uh, because they'll see the cluster of receivers. Look at him just hopping these horrible blockers. They'll see the cluster of receivers going out in the normal vertical pattern, and then you can hit him with a screen. But uh, other than that, I mean, these over-the-middle routes, like, I don't really think you're going to have time. I was going to try to throw to R1, R1 there. It's never going to happen. Uh, the X route, that's another one. I mean, it doesn't open up quick enough. Uh, like I said, the circle route is the only one that opens up quick enough there. That's going to be it for part two. I don't know if there's going to be a part three, but, um, you know, hit the like button. If, if, if I get enough likes, uh, I do. This There's definitely several more plays that are going to be on my Patreon. So if that's what you guys want to see, um, I can do that. The plays that I'm probably going to show are like more of the pro-oriented plays out of the bunch and out of the, uh, the pistol because it has a lot of like real pro favorite type plays. Um, so like I said, hit the like button if you want to see that, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.